Hey, it's Sophie from the Brown Kitchen and I went to see the hygienist today and I was thinking about how that applies to business really in the sense that I go to the hygienist because I want to make sure that my teeth are kept nice and clean so that once a year I go and get them polished and, and looked after and then I, it means that, you know, I don't have to go and see the dentist <laughs> or when I do. All she says is, your teeth are doing great and uh, come and see me next year. Which is lovely because, you know, who wants to go to the dentist and have teeth pulled out and fillings put in and injections and all of those sorts of things? No one. Certainly not me. So, it made me think about business. You know, prevention is better than a cure and all of that. How many times are you getting your business looked at to make sure that you're on the right track? so that you're not going to go off track and get in the wrong place. You know, if you are not checking up on how your business is getting on, if you're not seeing people that are going to help you just tidy up the bits that need tidying up so that, you know, when it gets to the end of the year, everything is in good form and as it needs to be, then how are you going to know if you're doing anything wrong? And as you know, when you're going on a, a path, if you go off on the wrong path, early on it's fine, you know, you go sliding along, but the further down that path you go, the wider you get away from where you want to be. So it's really important to make sure that you're checking in and you're making sure that instead of going for a cure, if something goes wrong, you're preventing it before you even get there by keeping track of everything and having a regular checkup. So, this is a little reminder that if you haven't had your business checked recently, if you haven't checked in with anybody to kind of just run it past and see whether you're doing the right thing, make an effort to go and do that. Go and find a business coach or uh, someone who's experienced in what you're doing, speak to your accountant, speak to your solicitor, whatever it may be that isn't a way of you checking that you're doing the right thing. Do that and do it soon and then let me know how you get on. I'd love to hear your comments, so do join in the conversation below. Thanks a lot.